Okay guys, what I've done is I've got the motor in, um, I've got a normal DC, I don't know if I can get that into the frame, I've got a normal DC power pack hooked up directly to the motor. Um, we want to make sure everything runs fine before we start throwing the expensive decoders in here. Um, run the motor in a little bit, we're going to clean the commutators, I'm going to explain to you how I do that. Um, I use methylated spirits. Uh, I don't know if that'll be in focus, um, but it's the purple one. What I would actually prefer to use is alcohol, 90% um, and above. Don't use alcohol that you buy from Bunnings because it's 30% alcohol, 70% water. Right, unless you can buy it at a pharmacy or online, stick to the methylated spirits. Okay, um, I'm using a bit of a cotton bud. I'm running the loco, low, fairly low speed. Um, Right, now, you want to get a little bit of methylated spirits onto the commutator. What happens there is that there's two graphite bits that touches the commutator and they make a track. And that track over time becomes really thick and built up and it struggles and it takes a lot of power for it to get going. So you want to do this while the loco is running and just polish that commutator section up, alright. And you can see as I'm doing this the motor is starting to spin up getting higher RPMs on its own. All right, just gently, ever so gently. Don't splash it on there. All right, we'll get that nice and polished up. All right, now that we've done that, leave it running a little bit just to make sure that all the spirits um, evaporate. All right, she's a, she's a quiet, she's a quiet running little loco. She um. Definitely not in a bad shape in any way or form. These Athen Blue Boxes run forever. They are amazing piece. They're an amazing piece of kit. Okay. Now that we've done that, I'm just going to stop it quickly. All right. Again, using a bit of an oil. Now I use an oil that's semi-synthetic base, but it also conducts a bit of electricity. Um, you're going to have to shop around to find the right type of oils that you want to use or that you should be using. Again, I'm not getting into that debate. Um, so what you want to do is you want to get a toothpick and go right in between that flywheel counterweight. Don't go on the inside of the commutator, leave the commutator alone. On this side, there's a little push running on the inside of the motor. You want to just get it, guys, a little bit goes a long way here just on the inside all right and again in between your flywheel i'm gonna have to push this away in between your flywheel and the actual frame of the motor right now again run her gently oh there we go it's a bit of a dog's breakfast at the moment with where the wires are Right, what I had to do, um, I had to free up some of the bushes, um, some of the, the brass wipers we put in because it was holding onto the, it was binding onto the wheels a bit too much. Uh, but that's something that you're going to have to trial and error and play with. Um, one thing I'm noticing on this one set of wheels isn't spinning too well, it might just be the angle. I might have to open this truck and see what's going on with that gear set. Um, I do have new gears. Oh, there, there it goes. And from there, we'll stop it and we'll go in the opposite direction. And I think we'll stop the video here. Alright guys, that is it for the frame and tube, a lube and tube job. Uh, next video we'll be doing the wiring of the decoder into the frame and closing it all up and testing it. Hope you enjoyed the vid and I hope it helps you guys out. A uh, few last thing to mention, if you're doing a proper proper install on this and you want to make it run a lot smoother, um, I would actually remove the frame, um, sorry, the engine mount from the frame and have the motor sit down a little bit more. So that you don't have that awkward angle, if I can explain it with this toothpick. This is the sort of alignment you want. Now, in future videos, I'm going to do an SD40, 
complete rebuild and I'll show you guys what I'm doing to that one and we'll do all these things in that video um, this is just a refurbish um, refurbish of on this GP60 so I'm not gonna do it in this one so I put the side frames on <clears throat> I've got it on a little bit of a test track here with uh, just a DC power pack setup um, make sure that you isolate your wires that nothing touches um, if you're gonna have a short you won't have any major damage here this is where we want to have shorts and make and fix them before we actually put the coders and expensive stuff in the locomotives um, just running it back and forth make checking for binding listening for grinding noises and yeah she runs pretty good okay and then we'll tidy up all this mess and get it a bit more neat and presentable thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video